The new variant of coronavirus has been very much in the news, both locally and internationally. And I'd like to give you a brief explanation what we mean by a variant, how is it picked up, how widespread is it, and what are the implications of it. First of all, what do we mean by a variant? A variant is an offshoot of the virus which arises as a result of random mutations which occur while the virus is making copies of itself. In other words, one or several of the building blocks which comprise its structure, we call them amino acids, are substituted by different amino acids. These random mutations are a natural process for all viruses, the great majority of whom multiply rapidly and are therefore these mutations occur quite frequently. More often these changes are of no consequence, but occasionally these mutations may change some of the characteristics or the properties of the virus. So, what are the implications of the coronavirus variant called the 501 variant? It is called 501 because that is the position in the genetic sequence of the virus where that particular change has taken place. This is on the spike protein of the virus, the spike being the outermost protein which attaches the virus to a specific receptor site on human respiratory cells. One of the most important changes to the characteristics of this new variant is that it is more contagious or more infectious. In fact, in recent studies of these isolates in South Africa, it has been shown that the variant is becoming the dominant strain in the country, rapidly displacing the original COVID virus strain. However, other than its increased infectiousness, the variant behaves like the other coronaviruses, causing the same disease. The preventive precautions would therefore be exactly the same, only more so because of the increased infectivity. What is unknown at this stage, and is obviously of great importance, are two major questions. Firstly, has the variant become more virulent? In other words, does it cause more severe disease? This is currently not known. There's a lot of research underway to answer this question. Secondly, will the variant escape the immunity which, elicits, which is elicited by the vaccine? At this stage, what we call vaccine escape mutations have not been demonstrated with coronaviruses and in all likelihood will probably not appear to be a major problem. Okay, so how was it picked up in South Africa? There are several molecular virology laboratories in the country which are continually monitoring the genetic sequences of viruses sent to them from the diagnostic laboratories. From October of this year, the laboratory in KZN started noticing the 501 variant in specimens originally from Nelson Mandela Bay, but very soon was picked up in other parts of the country. Because of its greater infectiousness, the variant appears to be rapidly displacing the original strain and is now fast becoming the dominant strain in the country. It is probable that this variant is a major contributory factor to the second wave of coronavirus we are currently experiencing in the country. Okay, so how widespread is the 501 variant? Well, this variant was first recognized in England in mid-September and has now been detected in a number of European countries in Denmark, Italy, Iceland, Netherlands, France and others and also in Australia. It is certain that it will soon be detected throughout the world. The South African variant has been found to have, in addition to the 501 substitution, two other mutations in the critical binding domain of the spike protein. However, there is no evidence that the South African strain differs in its infectiousness or any other property to its English counterpart or to any of the other strains around the world. Whether the variants arose completely spontaneously in different countries or whether they were transmitted between countries is currently unknown. Right, in conclusion, the important consequence of the advent of the coronavirus variant is that it will demand even more attention to the non-pharmaceutical precautions of COVID. In other words, avoiding social gatherings, wearing masks, physical distancing and hand sanitizing. These basics have not changed with the variant, only the added importance of carrying them out because of the enhanced contagiousness of the virus.